my friends what is going on back to scouting guys we have had some nasty winds for about 48 hours a lot of rain so that's gonna change the surf I got two guides coming up in the next 48 hours and I gotta find if my normal haunts are still here what new stuff we have forming out here and really just get a game plan for how I'm gonna run these guides we're gonna have dirty water so we'll be dealing with catfish so I need multiple bait options and things like that so I can eliminate what bait the catfish are after. A lot of pre-planning goes into these trips, guys. It gets pretty simple when things aren't changing. When the weather's holding, we don't have a lot of wind, things like that, I can fish the same spots for weeks, as long as they're steadily producing. But when the winds are so strong that they're closing the schools like they did, <laughs> <laughs> you got, there's gonna be structure change new spot number one secure big nice hole right here easy access to guys i have an elderly couple tomorrow morning so i'm always looking for the easiest access for trips like that that's one of the questions i'm asking when i'm booking the guide is you know basically how many people what are you looking to do is this just you want to catch fish and get them in the cooler or are you wanting to learn and then how old is everybody in the party by getting all that information up front you have a good idea of what to expect what to prepare for the morning of or the afternoon of the trip a lot of back-end stuff goes into these things guys also scouting the day before like this will give me a good idea of like water clarity so when i'm rigging up i know what colors of floats to go with beads things of that nature and always the night before is when I'm changing out hooks, checking leaders. If I can save my leader, I will, but either just sharpening hooks or changing out completely. And I am gonna be going with some darker colors. The water didn't look terrible out there, but it was definitely not that like emerald blue that we're known for here in the panhandle. So I'll darken up floats a little bit I'm changing out a few of my hook floats that are compromised. I'll show you what I mean by compromised. I hooked a stingray on this one last trip and you can see my hook is loose. <laughs> I can still fish these and I will, but I have a good supply of them right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and change them out and I won't necessarily throw that away. I'll save it for a rainy day. And even hooks like this that I just took off, like I'm not gonna get rid of that. It's still good. It doesn't have any rust on it or anything. I'll just run it on my sharpener, hit it a couple times, and that guy will go right back in the shed, ready to go on the next rig. Gotta keep that overhead low. I got some new drum rigs that I'm gonna be trying out from Redfin Fishing. I'll be trying out the spinner float for the first time, Surf Pro Tackle. Got some of these in the mail the other day. It's got a great shape. That guy should spin around in the current, and this is a great color for the conditions, right? that dark green and orange little green bead to back it up got that guy on 20 pounds single drop and this one here has been on there a while you can see it's been chewed on gnawed on crabbed it's loose i've had that guy on probably for about five days i'm gonna go ahead and just eliminate this guy altogether. i got the 12 footer out to tie on the redfin fishing panhandle drum rig i asked jason the owner and operator of redfin to make me up some drum rigs for the panhandle. He asked me what I wanted, I told him, and he delivered, guys. So basically we got a slider here attached to the main line. That's where we're gonna put our sinker or our pyramid. And we got 40 pound mono with a three-aught circle hook. That's it. That slider will give this guy play and let that cut bait roam around a little bit instead of us being fixed. Basically go find the drum. I'll keep that drum set up kind of away from my spread not right on top of it because again that line in the water will move around a bit so to avoid it getting crossed up i'll keep it down the beach a little bit then we got our little floaty jig shellfish gear 12 pound fluorocarbon leader this is our little whiting setup and we're ready for the morning guys everything is rigged up ready to go i'll get all my tackle together now and then basically in the morning all i'm doing is loading the truck and hauling butt Change of plan, guys. My guide uh, reached out to me this morning, letting me know that it was just gonna be one person. It was a couple, um, a couple in their retirement age. They're staying down in Fort Morgan, Alabama, actually, if you know that location. 
They were willing to come into Perdido. They wanted to learn some stuff. A lot of my guides are really just anglers wanting to pick up the surf fishing game. They're at the age where they have a lot more time on their hands. They want to learn surf fishing. So that was the purpose of the guide. And the gentleman actually got sick last night. So his wife contacted me this morning and was like, hey, it's just going to be me. My husband's sick. So I asked them if they were free Friday and just pushed the guide out for them. I was already up. I had two cups of coffee in me already. <laughs> like, so I wasn't going back to bed. I already had Madi situated to get thunder on the bus this morning. So I grabbed one rod and we're gonna run up and down the beach for a little while and see if we can pick out some Spanish. Spanish guys I gave it about an hour out there this morning absolutely nothing water was super dirty too there was a bunch of set rig fishermen out there nobody was catching anything we are here at the afternoon trip this is something cool because I'm in a brand new location in Perdido a spot I've never fished just because I can't access it these are one of these cool trips where my client has a beach house right on the beach, Gulf side, and it happens to be in a beautiful surf fishing location. Nice cutting hole out there. I came out here and scouted it like 48 hours ago, guys, and it's looking delicious. I get the request for this all the time, especially with people staying in the condos. They want to fish in front of their condos, right? It makes sense. It's easy access for them. They don't have to get in the car and go anywhere. But nine times out of 10, that location is not good for a few reasons. Either there's no kind of structure there to fish or it's just so crowded in front of it that I don't feel comfortable fishing there. This is a private setting. These are individual houses. It's not like a condo and really new, like some of the newest structures here in Perdido Key. I've watched these places being built for the last three years, <laughs> like, and daydreaming about living here. Maybe he'll let me go inside. There we go, guys. I don't know if they can see me or not. Let's get up here on the sand dune thunder and wave them down. I, I can do it. Well, you stay there, I got it. Okay. You see some people out there? You see? Hello! I see somebody. Okay. Hello! What's up, buddy? All right. All right, here we go. Come on, Beach Nasty. Four wheel drive, baby. Oh, yeah. Did you bring an umbrella, Bubba? Yeah, I brought an umbrella. Nice I off. see some nice sandbar structure out there. Man, there's a great spot over there to the left, too, Thunder. That way? That's the right. <laughs> right on the lip.
Thunder's got an earache. He's actually crying. I hadn't seen that boy cry in months. And there's tears coming down. I need to get him home. But what do I do in this situation? Do I call the trip? You know, we're on a good bite. And really, I get him home. He's still gonna be in pain. Oh, look at this guy, he's gonna fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Osprey with a fish. He's still gonna be in pain when I get him home, but obviously he'll be a lot more comfortable. We can start treating it. Ugh. Because these tough decisions, guys. You can't handle it? No, I just wanna go home. I know, buddy. All right. I'm gonna, oh. What? Man. What are you gonna do? Wait, what it looks like? You know, it just looks like an ear. We were having a catfishy day or a skunky day. I'd have no issue with packing up and leaving. These guys came to catch fish though. And we're catching them. Mm. I'm sorry, buddy. My mom got the medicine, okay? Yeah, she's on her way home. She's on her way home with the medicine. We're gonna get we're gonna get packed up here in a little while. Get out of here. Go get you some medicine, get on the couch. You might not have to go to school tomorrow. You already turned your laptops in? That means school's over, dude. All right, oh, I'm getting thunder out of here, guys. I'm calling the trip. This is breaking my heart. This kid don't never cry. And he's like big, big crocodile tears coming down his cheeks. I know he's in pain. These are hard decisions, man. These guys, they were cool. They understood. I mean, they see what's going on. I offered them another trip tomorrow afternoon, but they're going offshore. So basically, I'm just like, let's do half price. I'll clean these fish and bring them back to you. I got it, man. You guys, well, no, yeah. Out if you want it. You don't want me yeah, to that, yeah, that's fine. If you guys want to come out again tomorrow afternoon, man, I'll, I'll happily come out. Well, good luck with your son, man. Yeah. Get him something for the pain. Let me get him settled. My wife should be home about an hour and I'll, yeah. I'll clean those fish and run them back to you. Sweet, man. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of payment and all that then. He's hurting bad, guys. I got him home, got some medicine, but I gotta get these fish clean and back to the clients. Cut the trip two hours short. We've got another trip in the morning. <laughs> oh man. Let's go check on this guy. Ow. Does something make you feel better? No, it's worse. Mm. ear infection like that like what do you do you just have to ride it out I've given him some medicine obviously to try to ease it but it's just gonna take time I heard these guys talking about grilling pompano so I'm gonna leave the skin on we were able to get enough to feed everybody before I took off we lost a couple we lost a big red guys 
we had a big red hooked up on the eight foot six up close on that little floaty jig. I saw it rip and drag. At first I thought stingray, but then I saw the head shakes and I really wasn't sure what it was, but he got right there on the lip and I got a good glimpse of him. It was a red right in the slot size, but he popped off on that lip. The shore monster, it will get you, man. If you're not used to it, you're not used to know, you don't know how to really work that lip, they'll pop off on you every time. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'll get you some strawberries. Deliver the goods. Yeah, it got windy. I hope this wind dies down for the morning. Gonna knock on the door, I guess. Guys, oh man, hot tub. This will be the spot to be, guys. Look at this view, man. Oh, buddy, walk out here every morning, pick your spot. Goals, all right, brother. Oh, man. Bam, awesome. Man. I left the skin on. I heard you guys talking about grilling it. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna grill it skin side down 85% of the way, and basically, you're just gonna flip it at the end just to tighten everything up. Okay. Yep. How long do you think for this to cook? Six minutes. And it, dude, that the invitation's open for tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, maybe that'll happen. Yeah. Give me like an hour heads it's up. Two. Yeah. Thanks, man. Give me like an hour heads up yeah. and I can get it together. Okay. And come and come hang out. Great. Thanks, brother. Oh, alright. Very understanding. Cool guy. All right, guys, let's do one more. Got one in the morning. I'll take you all along. My goodness. Wind change overnight, guys. We had a southeast when I went to bed at about 12 miles an hour, light rain. Now we're blowing straight east at 20 and it's storming. <laughs> I just had to cancel the trip, man. I hate that. They were coming, they had about an hour drive too. So I think I caught them about halfway into their drive. Um, I'm here 30 minutes early. That's the second trip I've had to cancel with this couple. The first time the, the husband got sick and he couldn't make it. So we postponed it to this morning and now this. There is no such thing as budgeting your income running guides, guys. <laughs> like it just, it's just impossible. You know, you could have five, six guides lined up on the books for the week and three of them might get canceled. I tell you like my grandma used to tell me, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Oh, we took Thunder to the emergency room last night, found Mahdi did, about 9.30. It was, uh, it kept getting worse and worse, guys. Breaks my heart to see him in pain like that. Let's go home and check on him. Insiders, Blaine Roberts here, Panhandle Salt Beach Fishing, bringing you the surf fishing report for the, for the Perdido Key, Pensacola area. And this weekend, it tightens up a little bit, guys. Saturday, we have a rising tide in the morning. 
your best bite is going to be around from 8 to 10 a.m. Press 1 to hear your report. Press 2 to finish. Press 3 to re-record. Doing my weekend chore in here, guys. Gotta make use of my time. I do a weekly game plan for Salt Strong every weekend. So I usually put a recording out like on Thursday or Friday of what the surf is gonna look like, what to expect in the Pensacola Perdido Key area. That same report will span into like the Orange Beach Gulf Shores areas. I've had some great dealings with Salt Strong lately, guys. I'm actually starting to create some content for them, some surf fishing content. They got some guys that do it like on the Atlantic side, but they didn't have anybody here in the Gulf. So obviously I threw out a proposal there. We chatted back and forth for about a month and then I was able to make the first video for them last weekend. I have the video submitted and all that, so they have it. So I'm kind of waiting to, <laughs> to hear back and see if they're gonna accept it or not, see if they're gonna post it to the platform. And videos like that will reach outside of like their Salt Strong Insider Club. It will go to their YouTube, it'll go to their Facebook and all that. Another stepping stone, guys. Another stepping stone into the saga of Perdido Blaine, baby. The more that I can expand my reach, the better. It helps all aspects of what I'm doing to expand like this, guys. To get into many, as many different areas as I can. Helps the guide business, the content creation, the tournaments. Got a network out here, y'all. How's your ear feeling? It's like at a five. It's at a five. Mm, like on a scale from one to ten. Ten being the worst. It's at a five. That's not too bad. What did you get at the hospital last night? Medicine I didn't like. What else? They ever checked my ear. Did they give you some candy? Oh, no. What did they give you? They gave me poop. Poop. <laughs> mm. We're going to give it one more go, guys. It is the afternoon. I am off work Friday afternoon. I had two maybe trips. The trip that canceled this morning and the trip yesterday that I had to run out on with Thunder. They were both kind of up in the air about this afternoon. I was playing them back and forth, <laughs> trying to figure out which one was going to bite. And at the end, neither one of them did. I was already locked and loaded, so here I am. And it looks great out there, guys. I got about a 12, 15 mile an hour south wind blasting me in the face. Sputniks will be needed, 100%. But the water doesn't look dirty. We got a nice emerald color. I just got a tip from my buddy Donald telling me that he's been getting them for the last two hours on straight, sand flea color and synthetic and I forgot my scissors so that's what we're gonna do guys get this sand flea color fish gum out and we're gonna start with that nice having a network next rod out is my 10 and a half real 38 surf pro this one will go a little bit deeper out guys I didn't even put this one in the sand spike, dude. I didn't even put it in the sand spike. Oh my God, up close, right off the lip. Oh no, did he come out? No, he's still there. Right off the lip. Oh my God. Oh, this is a good fish, guys. Yeah. Oh, he's taking me down the beach. I don't think this is a pompano, guys. What do we got? It is a pompano. It's a big one. Oh, it is. Big pump, dude. Nice. Nice one. <laughs> All right, guys, we found them. We found them just like that. Right off the bat, we got a three pound pompano. We got some nastiness coming up behind me, guys. Lord. Check the radar. Oh, God. Another one, guys. Oh, what is that? I got off. No, he's still there. A little whiting, probably. Yeah, a little whiting. On that floaty jig. Yeah, guys. I am about to get wet. It is looking nasty on the radar. This is going to be a quick trip, guys. I've got one in the cooler. 